Hands up if you bought a stream deck and you added like five buttons and then you ran out of ideas for what to put for the rest of them. You can put your hand down, no one can see you. Today I'm gonna to show you five unique ideas for your stream deck that I'm pretty sure you haven't seen before because I Google this stuff all the time and I haven't seen any YouTube videos talking about this kind of stuff. All these ideas will work no matter what stream deck you own, whether you own the stream deck mini or a gigantic stream deck on your iPad. All of them except for one, I have a very special idea just for those of you with the knobby stream decks. Just as a bit of a forewarning, although these ideas are unique, they are quite advanced. So if you're watching this video and you're like, my brain can't comprehend all these fancy words, Mr. YouTube guy, I made an easier version of this video last week. So you can go ahead and watch that. That one's a bit more beginner friendly. This one will just be for you Giga Chad streamers out there. You know who I'm talking about. By the way, if you haven't picked up a stream deck yet or you are just thinking about adding another one to your setup, I do have 5% discount codes on all of the stream deck models down below. They're permanent discount codes, so feel free to use them whenever you want. And last thing, yes, I know this is a really long intro. Uh, most of the ideas we talk about today will be requiring StreamerBot. So if you've never set up StreamerBot before, I do recommend checking out this video. But if you have no interest in setting up StreamerBot or you're like, on a Mac or something, you can at least use this video to pester Elgato to make all these ideas a real thing that everybody can use. Big shout out to VIP SD keys for making these videos possible. If you guys are looking for a Windows 11 key, you can get them for as low as $21. Just use the link down below and use code NUTTY at checkout to get it for 30% off. And then if you want to save a little bit more money, you can just get a Windows 10 key and then just upgrade it to Windows 11 completely for free. Just use the secure payment method like PayPal at checkout. They'll send you an activation code. You can put that into your Windows settings and then, and then you're done. No more watermark. Check out VIP STD keys in the link down below. So the first idea is what I'm calling a currently playing button. So on my stream deck, I have a button that shows the box art for whatever category I have set on my Twitch channel. And that box art on the button actually updates in real time. So if I go to my Twitch dashboard and change my category, I can physically see the icon on my stream deck change without me having to do anything. But that's not it. I also set up the button so that whenever I press it, it opens up a dialog box and I can type whatever game I want into the box and then Twitch will update my category and the box art automatically. There's even a second function where I could hold the button down and then it will pull up a different dialog box and then this one will allow me to change the title of my stream. For this, I use the StreamerBot plugin for Stream Deck. You can find it in the Elgato Marketplace. All you have to do is install that plugin and then make sure you have StreamerBot running. And I've written all of the code for you guys so you don't need to figure that out for yourself because it's probably too much work for you. So you can get that code in the link down below and it has text-based instructions for how to import that into StreamerBot. But basically you just click on the import button and then drag the file into the import box and click import. And then all the code is just, it just appears in your streamer bot. Now to set up the button on your stream deck, head into the stream deck software and then add a new streamer bot action. And here you can set up what happens whenever you press down on the button, when you release the button or hold down on the button. I set mine up to run the set game action whenever I short press the button and then the set stream title whenever I long press the button. And it should just work right away. So if you press the button, you'll see a dialog box pop up and you can fill it in, but it won't actually show the box art. So to get the box art to show up, you need to copy your button ID here and then paste that in into the status update button action in StreamerBot so that StreamerBot knows which button it needs to show the label on. I know it's a lot of steps. I wish it was just something you can easily drag and drop, but once you set it up once, you don't have to worry about it ever again. Now you can go ahead and just update your category in Twitch and then bam, it just, it just appears in your stream deck. Next idea is to set up a last raid or last subscriber button. So this one shows the profile picture and the name of the last person who raided you or subscribed to your channel. And when you push the button, it automatically sends a shout out command in your chat. So if your mods are asleep or you don't feel like busting out your keyboard and typing, you can just hit one button in your stream deck and then it automatically shouts them out. I love this one. The stream deck is really good for showing like like glanceable information like this. I just, I don't know why Elgato doesn't think of ideas like this in the first place. To set this one up, you're gonna wanna drag in 
a status indicator button this time, so not the action button that we used earlier. And then we're gonna set the key down interaction to last sub shout out or last raid shout out, whichever one you wanna set up. You can set up two buttons for both if you want. Now to get the button to automatically fill in the icon with the profile picture and the name of the person, you need to do the same thing as the last one. So copy the button ID and then paste it into the last raid button or last sub button actions in Streamerbot. And also make sure to change the type to text in the indicator settings. And now you just have to wait for me to come in your stream and then my face will appear on your stream deck. Come join my Discord server, by the way. I raid people from there all the time. You like that? That's what we call in the industry a call to action. Yep, did it work? No, oh, okay, sorry. Next idea is to set up a live bit rate or view count chart. So I have a button that shows my current bit rate in OBS with a live chart that updates over time. So not only do I get to see what my current bit rate is, but I can also see what it's been like for the past few minutes. It's set up so that when my bit rate drops below a certain threshold, the color of the button will turn red. So I can see when my Australian net is acting up. Thanks, Telstra, you're really bad. To get this idea working, we again dragged in a status indicator action. We don't actually need to set a key down interaction for any of this, but in the indicator settings, you will want to set the type to sparkline chart. You can also change the chart steps too. So I set mine to 16. So basically it's gonna show the last 16 data points on the chart. And if you wanna set up a chart for your view counts, it's exactly the same thing. I know you can already show your view count on this stream deck without any of this bullshit, but I like seeing that little chart of all my views over time because I can see that whenever I do just chatting, the view count rises. And then when I actually wanna have fun and play games, I can see the view count dropping. But yeah, if you wanna set up a view count chart, it's exactly the same as the other chart. You just choose the different action inside the drop. You, you can figure it out. This is a great tutorial. I just don't give you any details on how to do any of this stuff. This next idea is probably my favorite one on this list and probably the reason why I'm making this video. So. You know how you can run ads on Twitch for different durations, like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds? Well, I didn't want to set up like 15 buttons on my stream deck, because what a waste of button real estate. So instead, I set up a dial on my stream deck plus that allows me to choose the number of seconds that I want to run the ad for. And since I'm being a bit of a savage, say three minutes, then I can just click into the dial and, and then it runs an ad for that length of time. My voice just cracked, but I'm not redoing this part again. Now, because this uses dials, this will only work on Stream Deck models that have dials. And at the moment, that's only the Stream Deck Plus. At least for right now. I don't actually know anything. I have no idea if they're making a new Stream Deck model. Or do I? No, I don't. Now to get this working, you're gonna wanna drag over a control dial. And then in the dial settings, we're gonna change the type to value indicator and then fill in the dial settings as follows. If you did it right on your stream deck, it should look like this. So when you turn the dial to the right, it should step up in increments of 30 seconds and then it should stop at a minimum of 30 and then a maximum of 180 because those are the upper and lower limits for ads on Twitch. And then to get the dial to actually run an ad when you click into the dial, you just set the dial press action in the actions tab and set it to run ad dial press. This is one of my favorite things that I've set up on my stream deck. And again, I, I don't know why, this is such a home run idea that I don't know why Elgato just doesn't, they just make stuff like this. You could use the same concept for other stuff too. Like imagine setting up a slow mode dial where you could set the slow mode duration just by turning the dials. I don't know, I'm just giving out free ideas by this point. You know, it would be sick though, is if you could make like a clip dial where you could actually choose the duration before you make the clip so that they're not all just 30 seconds long. That one actually isn't possible because Twitch is stupid and they don't support that. Someone at Twitch fix that because I'm sick of making clips and they can only be 30 seconds long. I don't wanna choose the duration. Final idea is one that actually doesn't require streamer bot at all. I probably should have made this the first one because I think I scared you guys all away with, with all that streamer bot talk. 
You guys, are you guys still there? Hello? Raise your hand if you have a dual PC streaming setup. Again, with the hand raising, no, there's no one in the room with you. Stop raising your hand. Have you ever wanted to control OBS on your streaming PC, but your stream deck is connected to your gaming PC, so it can't even see OBS? I'll give you an example. So I have this screen behind me on my stream and that screen is actually an entirely separate PC, but it has OBS running on it. So I can display cool stuff like a bit menu or this four hour footage of Subway Surfers. But the thing is my stream deck is connected to my main PC. So how do I get that stream deck to control a completely different PC? Well, it turns out there's a plugin on the Elgato marketplace that does just that. And it's called multi OBS controller. And this one lets you connect up to two OBS installs to your stream deck that could be on different PCs altogether. And it lets you change scenes, toggle sources on and off, take screenshots, all the normal things that you're used to doing with the stream deck. And it even gives you extra features like the ability to refresh browser sources or refresh capture cards. So if you have like a webcam or something that you constantly need to stop and restart, you can just do that from one button on your stream deck. It can even show stats like your drop frames or your CPU usage. So if you hated that chart thing I showed you earlier because you hate StreamerBot, I don't know why you're still watching this video. I talked for streamer about like eight minutes in this video. Well, yeah, you can just show your stats in your stream deck now. My only gripe is I wish you could set up more than two OBS instances because like I said, I'm a savage and I have three PCs in my studio, all of which run OBS and I'd like to control all of them if I could, but you can only control up to two. Most of you guys only have one PC anyway, so I'm probably the only crazy one here, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. So um, guys, go use my 5% discount code now. I'm trying to make some money out of this bitch. Also come watch my Twitch streams. We come up with cool ideas like this all the time. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this content, really, me, you, sick, Th thanks guys.